Obviously, after this week, you're right back at it. You're going to be out in Vegas next week for um, Alfredo's fight. Um, you know, he's making his middleweight. I mean, I know the fight's a little bit higher than middleweight, but basically middleweight debut. How's he been looking in camp? You know, Alfredo made a conscious decision to rededicate himself to the sport. Um, you know, he had a lot of things going on that was contrary to him being at his best. Um, and he and I made a pact with each other that boxing would come first mm -hmm. and as long as we were going to do it. And that no matter uh, what the outcome of fight or whatever it is, that he's at his best. And an Alfredo Angulo at his best has a chance in any fight mm -hmm. against anybody. So um, that's where we're at with this fight. I'm really anxious to see him perform. I'm, be I'm very pleased with his commitment and uh, the, the last nine weeks that we've put together. Um, I'm very pleased with what he's picked up, what he's diligently worked on, but more so than anything, the commitment that he's made to uh, you know, resurrect. Uh, to pick up the pieces mm -hmm. where he left off in his last fight. Are you, I don't, you know, are you, do you think he's going to be more comfortable at the higher weight or is it still too early to, do you have to wait until fight night to figure that out? Most definitely he'll be comfortable at middle weight. Mm -hmm. It probably should have been, that decision probably should have been made a couple of fights ago. Um, he's a real big bone kid. Mm -hmm. um, and 54 all these years, and I mean, he fought 65 in amateurs. Mm -hmm. To meet 54 all these years, it's a tough, tough process when you get a man 31, 32 years old. You just can't do that to him. So, mm -hmm. fortunately for him, um, he has the punch to take to uh, 64. Um, mm -hmm. A 60 pounds, so um, I think it was a good move for him because he's happy, mm -hmm. and um, him being happy gives us a chance to perform and stay at that world level. How is the 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 mental uh, aspect of getting him back and getting him you know ready for this fight? I know that you know the last fight was a you know was a tough loss for him. I know he was real upset after that fight. Um, ha has it been a difficult process to mentally get him back where he needs to be or, or again is it still a little too early to tell? No, I don't think so because he understands that he didn't give himself the best chance in that fight. Mm -hmm. um, he just did. He understands that, and, and once he accepted that, which he's a man, and uh, he's, he's a man of conviction, when he accepted that, he was able to put it behind him and move on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in this business, you know, you're always one fight away from being right back. So, um, it's nothing we can do about um, mm -hmm. his last fight. We can only deal with, we'll deal with what's ahead of us, so that's the direction we're looking in, that's the mindset that we have. So. Um, after again next week, uh, he'll have opportunity to put himself back on the track, redeem himself, so to speak. Uh, but more importantly, to understand that what it really takes to be successful in this business, that he adhered to that, that he put it into practice, and, and he was able to see the positive results. Mm -hmm.